How we doing? How we doing? This is Destination Denver, Colorado, and I've got a great one for you today, or or maybe a hate one today. What do people hate about Denver in 2022? Let's find out. This is Destination Denver, Colorado. I am your host, Jimmy Everts. And listen, if you're interested in learning all the ins and outs, pros and cons to living in or around Denver, Colorado, then this is a channel for you. So that subscribe button and notification icon popping up on the screen. Make sure you click that so you get a heads up on new videos I'm dropping every week. And listen, as much as I love being out on a beautiful day, getting a little creative for you, I'm also a licensed mortgage expert covering the entire state of Colorado and working with some of the state's most talented real estate agents. So the number and email popping up, I'm always the person answering your calls, answering your emails, answering your texts. Happy to be a resource at any time, whenever you need me. Now that we have that fun-filled stuff out of the way, let's get to what we're here for. And that is, what do people hate about Denver in 2022? All right, let me preface, we're not really talking about hate, but at the end of the day, there's certain times where you say you dislike something, and there's certain times you say you hate something. If your sports team is playing your rival, you don't say, I dislike those guys, you say, I hate those guys. If you have a rival school, uh, maybe you're talking about an ex and their new significant other, you don't say, man, I dislike that person, you go, oh, man, I hate that guy. Hate, 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 double hate, loathe. Entirely. All right, so that's what we're talking about here. A little fun filled, what do people in Denver hate about Denver? All right, so coming from someone born and raised here in Colorado and certainly around a lot of fellow natives, the first thing that people from Denver like to complain about, AKA hate, is rising prices of homes, rising cost of living. So Denver, and growing up, and I'm an old man, folks, raised in the 80s and 90s, Denver was a cow town. I say that kind of humorously because if you went to downtown Denver in the 80s, there wasn't a whole lot there. And as you got outside of Denver, within 10 to 15 minutes, you would see horse farms. It was a genuine cow town, Old West type stuff, right? But as Denver has grown, kind of started in the mid 90s with the Rockies coming here, but as Colorado has grown, It's seen its population explode. It's seen its economy explode. And because of that, you've seen home prices accelerate quickly. You've seen the cost of living accelerate the same way. And people in Denver who, again, we're talking about born, raised, been here for generations, some of them get frustrated, AKA hate, the fact that the cost of living in Denver has changed dramatically, especially over the last 10 years. Now I'll always preface, is that going to affect someone moving here? Eh, Probably going to depend on where you're coming from and what to expect. But if you've lived here your entire life and you've seen the cost of homes escalate by tens if not hundreds of thousands, and you've seen your cost of living increase, but you have been somewhat static, eh, you can understand why that would frustrate some folks. Number two, and I kind of mentioned it with number one, the population growth. So again, Denver, the people that lived here their entire life, they kind of had it just perfect, right? They had this beautiful city and this beautiful state all to themselves. The population of Denver isn't too extreme. In fact, it's currently only 19th in the US. There are cities like Jacksonville, Indianapolis, even Columbus, Ohio has a larger population. But prior to 2010, 2011, Denver wasn't in the top 25. So we've seen all that population growth and Denver natives love to complain about how many people have moved here. Number three, with population growth, you're gonna have infrastructure issues. So Denver natives, we love to hate the streets. We love to hate potholes and how some of the streets haven't been taken care of. Uh, Our electric grid has some issues, water supplies. So those are the big things. As more people move here, infrastructure becomes a little bit more shaky. Denver definitely needs some work. And the city itself, is struggling to deal with this population growth. There are certain roads and certain things that were built decades and decades ago that just can't be changed over. One of our biggest is our major north to south highway, I-25, which runs right alongside downtown. So it's not like they can expand that highway too much. They have about as many lanes as they can possibly get. So that's one of those things that has built and it's one of the infrastructure issues that natives get frustrated by. 
See how I don't just keep saying hate, just, you know, hate's a bit aggressive, but we're having fun with it. And when you're talking about that infrastructure, one of the other things that irritates locals and natives is the fact that the only way you take care of infrastructure is obviously with repairs and odds are higher taxes. So while it has not occurred yet, Denver, especially with property taxes, has very reasonable property taxes, but we can expect at some point that has to change so that the state and the city can afford infrastructure updates. The number four thing that we hate, and the snow isn't bad, but the drivers in snow are. Now, listen, I would like to tell you that every bad driver in Denver and in Colorado is not from Colorado, but that's not true. However, when it snows, it's like people lose their mind. They no longer know how to function. Now, I've said it before. It's not the snow you have to worry about. It's the ice, but we can't stand when people don't have a vehicle that's equipped for snow and ice. Can't stand when people haven't practiced a little bit, but the thing that drives us the most nuts is when the snow and the ice doesn't even exist. It's like a little frolic that's not sticking to the ground, and yet you drive like you're driving Miss Daisy, doing 15 miles an hour on the highway. Just stop it. And yes, bad drivers and infrastructure leads to the fact that traffic keeps getting worse and worse. Compared to other cities, I don't get too bent up by it, but there are times where traffic tends to slow down and certainly certain pockets in town where you can just expect at any time of day, traffic's gonna get backed up. Point me to a major city that doesn't have that, but you know, Denver locals, they're not gonna put up with that. They, they just, I don't know. We complain a lot, what do you want? If I'm talking about bad driving, I might as well hit you with number five. And that is, especially for my skiers and snowboarders, driving back from the slopes on a Sunday. So I-70, the corridor that's leading you back down to Denver from most of your major ski resorts, <whistles> traffic can get pretty extreme coming back, especially on those Sunday afternoons. Plenty of times I've sat, you've sat, people have sat sitting on I-70, waiting for the traffic to loosen up, waiting to get down to the city and turning what would have been an hour to maybe two, three hour drive into a five to six hour adventure of sitting on a road. If you haven't noticed yet, Coloradoans like to whine. I mean, this is just, we drink wine and we whine. That's, that's all you're seeing right now. Number six, and you can see the weather changes fast here. Yes, it gets freaking cold sometimes and it gets freaking hot. Now, I don't really, I don't really relate to this one, but in the summer, we have a lot of days that are in the 90s, if not triple digits. It's a dry heat, so I don't think if you've lived other places, and especially if you've lived around humidity, it's not going to bother you. But man, in Denver, it does seem as though it gets hotter and hotter. And then, yes, we get some freaking cold. So there are these blasts where for a handful of days, you're zero degrees. This is, uh, this is going to depend on a lot of people. I think that Denver people, they say they hate it. If they live somewhere else and come back, like I did, you, you realize, oh, it's not that bad. It doesn't get that hot, it doesn't get that cold. But if you've only lived here, you hate that. I'm just going off of what people tell me. Now, I'll be honest, I don't get too bent up about the cold or the hot, but one thing that does drive me crazy about Denver uh, is that there's no water here. And I don't mean like there's not a lot of lakes, not a lot of ponds. I mean, it's extremely dry here. So what does that mean? Uh, one, it means you need to drink more water. Just know that ahead of time. You need to put lotion on all the time because your hands, literally, as I stand out here and it's not even cold, so you're gonna have to put on lotion. It just happens, your hands dry quick. You're gonna see that Denver doesn't get a ton of green. There's kind of a yellowish tint to all of our green. You kind of see that throughout a, a, a lot of Colorado. Uh, Denver is a high plains desert, so that, that's kind of why it's that dry. And obviously, as I tell you, it's dry and there's not a lot of lakes and not a lot of ponds and not a lot of rivers it doesn't rain here a whole lot. I know that's stunning. I know you're blown away by that, but that's one of the frustrations of, of Denver locals. Uh, of course, they've lived here for a long period of time, so they can't really complain. It's not like they didn't know that it didn't rain, but we deal with a lot of droughts and there's plenty of times where the city has to tell us, uh, you gotta watch your water usage because we don't have a lot of water. As more people move here and it continues to be dry, we'll see how that shakes up. It'll certainly get worse before it gets better. And number eight, just because I want to keep whining about the weather apparently, apparently I hate the weather, is that it changes fast. So I started making a video earlier today. I'm kind of in a jacket. It's in the low 40s. It looks like it's going to rain, a little chilly. 
two minutes later, now we're in the high 60s, it's comfy. Uh, Denver changes fast. A lot of that has to do with the mountains, the fact that they hold up the winds, they hold up storms, and then when that storm finally comes across the mountain, forget about it. But just know the weather changes fast. So when you go out, you might have to bring a jacket, a fleece, some shorts, some pants, some sandals, some hiking boots. I'm kidding, that's extreme. But throw a jacket in your car, you'll thank me later. So number nine, and, and listen, I, I wanna make sure I preface this to not sound heartless, but number nine is the homeless situation in Denver. Now, I don't think any of us have a, an issue with the fact that we, obviously nationwide, globally, we have a homeless crisis and we wanna do things to assist the homeless. A frustration of Denver locals is the fact that the city just kind of let that population not just go and not, not seem to care about them, but they just kind of let them do whatever they wanted right around, obviously COVID affected a lot of things, but man, in 2020 and now going into today, you just started seeing tent cities pop up all over Denver. Now, you may be in communities, I know that Portland dealt with it, Seattle dealt with it, you know, some other communities, but in Denver, right around the capital, you went from having these, these open areas, these parks near the capital that were pretty, that you walked through with your coffee, to suddenly just being filled with tents and no real plan of how to assist these people. So I had friends who own businesses downtown and all of a sudden outside of their business is just a bunch of people camped out. They can't do anything about it. The people camped out about it can't do anything about it. And so it's just there. One of the cooler areas in Denver is 16th Street Mall, which is just a great walkable strip in Denver. Now littered with the homeless community and it's to a point where there's no real assistance for them. So it's areas where crime has increased, panhandling has increased, and it's just a place that people don't go to as much. So we hate the fact that we'd like to see Denver and its government and its people do more to assist that community. I know I was all fun and jokes and then I just dropped homeless people on you. That was nice of me. All right, and number 10, I saved the best for last. The last thing we hate, you know, I'm just, kidding, I'm just kidding. I say that with a grain of salt. So Coloradoans, natives, they love to cry and complain about anybody who's not from here. Uh, me moving away and coming back, I, I don't get that way. But man, when they find out that you're from California or Chicago or New York or, or wherever, you weren't born here, you're the problem. You're the reason that population has increased and homes are, are more costly and the cost of living is higher and traffic sucks. Yeah, you know, if you haven't bought a house yet, we're gonna complain about you for the homeless population. I kid, I kid, I kid, forgive me. So tongue in cheek, of all the things that Coloradoans like to complain about, yeah, that's more of a dislike, not a hate, but sorry. It's you and even me moving back to Colorado back in the day, which was a Wednesday, by the way, they even gave me grief saying, why are you coming back? I'll say this, for every one person complaining, there's nine that are gonna hug you. So get your butt to Colorado. And when it's time to move to Colorado, and hopefully I didn't insult you with any of these 10 things that people from Denver hate, you should hit me up. So that number and email popping up below, I'm always the person answering your calls, answering your emails, answering your texts. There when and if you need me, happy to debate anything I've discussed in this video, because the Lord knows some of it was spot on and some of it was probably mm, a little shaky. This is Destination Denver, Colorado. I am your host, Jimmy Everts. This was, was, whiz, what people hate about Denver in 2022. Bit extreme, we'll call it dislike, but hate works better than an algorithm. What can I tell you? Until next time, peace.